like that. We had uh, Paul Daly was in a few minutes ago, and he was saying that he doesn't think you're quite experienced enough to be fighting someone like him. What's your response to that? He's, that's bullshit. That is so much bullshit. He said he doesn't think I'm experienced enough. Take a look at some of his opponents before, and he wasn't questioning that. It had nothing to do with me not experienced. It's a lot to do with fear. He doesn't really want to fight me right now, and I understand it. I you asked him if you guys were friends before, and if you're friends now. Like, what's kind of your response to that? Yeah, it, again, this is the, the whole the whole reason why I'm annoyed at him is because in my head we were friends before. We were cool, cordial. Anytime we're together, it's always been nothing but respect. Anytime anybody asks me about Paul, nothing but respect. So when I heard something different on the other side, you know, it, it's a bit one embarrassing for me. Two, I just felt like a, feel, you feel like a bit of an idiot because someone that you, you know, you're calling your friends is telling other people that you're this, you're that, and so I just felt disrespected. So I'm like, the, be the best way to settle it is in the cage. I also asked him like if he had any advice for you, and he, he said go and get some better name of, named uh, opponents on your record. What's your advice for Paul Daly? I don't have advice for him. I don't really care. Fight me. That's my advice to you. Fight me. Um, and then if you class yourself as that better name, we'll see what happens. Are you happy with the fight you got? Be honest. I, 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 I kid you not, my coach signed the paper, uh, gave me the paper and was like, oh, I said, I don't care. And I just signed it, gave it back to him. I heard that the announcement came out, I saw who it was. It doesn't bother me. It's not who I wanted. I don't really care. It's another fight. I'm going to put on the show anyway. How are you going to steal the show in London this time? I, I do what I do, man. Every time I go in, every single time I step in a cage, it's a problem. So I'm just, you know what it is, it's that home crowd for me, I think especially last year helped me and I think this year it's going to be even crazier. People are expecting, to, expecting me to do some, some crazy stuff and I'm, I'm going to be training hard. Like, do you find it strange that you have an opponent booked, you've fight booked and everyone's still talking about Paul Daly? Yeah, no, no, it's not at all, not at all. I understand it because it's a big fight but it's good because when it comes it's going to be that much bigger. You know, I've started the snowball going, it's just going to be uh, an even bigger occasion when it does happen. So you guys are destined to be in the ring together no matter what. Oh, as long as you don't keep dodging me, man, yeah. Do I do the dodging in the cage, man. How do you think Lovelon, how do you think Paul Daly versus Roy McDonald's going to play out yourself? It's a good fight. Um, again, as an MMA uh, fan, it's a very good fight for Rory McDonald to come and test himself at straight away. I know a lot of people are going to be looking forward to seeing how he, you know, what, what Rory McDonald comes back. I think he's a top athlete. Um, so he's definitely going to be um, dangerous when he gets in the cage. Um, but at the same time, based on a couple of his last fights, if he stands in the pocket too long, trying to like trade punches, and because I think he's way more technical, but sometimes he likes to have a fight. And Paul Daly's dangerous, man. He's got rockets in both hands. If you want to stand and have a fight with him, you may go to sleep. So it's a good fight. Do you think you're the more dangerous opponent than Roy McDonald, considering the fact that his last two fights, obviously the war with Rory, Robbie Lawler, and then he didn't really look himself against mm. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson? Do you think you'd be a tougher fight for Paul Daly? Yeah, no, I think I'll be one of his hardest fights because I'm not, I'm not the conventional fighter, and he's a very emotional fighter, and I'm a person that loves to. I work on people's emotions, man. I frustrate the hell out of everybody that fights me, so it, it would be a dangerous, a very dangerous fight for him. I'm not sure if you've seen a video trolling the internet, it's gone viral of a fighter doing his Venom page and pressing and getting, getting the end result, the, the karma shot. What would your advice to that guy be? Like, no, just be yourself, man. Um, and I always say, it, a lot of people were like, you know, they've seen Con Conor McGregor out here doing his, uh, you know, how good he is in, in front of the camera, how good he is on, on the mic. And everyone's like, oh, do you think he should be more like that? And I'm like, no, that's not me. You know what I mean? You've got to be yourself. I've got to be who I am. And who I am is, uh, I'm entertaining the cage. I've got that, um, that, that flamboyance, that, that rhythm. That's me and I've, been, I've had it for years. If I was to show you a video of me when I was like 17, 16, 15, 13, I'm doing exactly the same thing. And I'm sure this guy hasn't been. So be yourself, man. What would your comments be? We had uh, Jimmy Smith, Bellator Jimmy Smith on the show and he was saying, you know, addressing the, that your, your, your career is sort of padded so far, your record is padded, you're getting the easier fights and respectfully said, mm -hmm. um, and he said, yeah, you'd like to see you against the tougher opponents. What do you think of that criticism, people saying you're getting the easier fights? Yeah, it's normal, but regardless of if people are saying I'm getting the easier fights, all right, at the beginning, I keep telling people, from because of my first fight, I've been under the spotlight immediately. There are certain guys that have my record now that will only just hit Bellator now. And only, they wouldn't get given good, good fights. I mean, you'd, you'd want them to be work their way up. And that's exactly what I had to do. So I feel like I'm at that position now where I'm going to be taking out some of the big names. And it's just, this is my time now. This is my time. I needed that experience. I'm not going to lie to myself and be like, you know, 
I'm good stand up, but I was crap everywhere else, man. If I'm being honest with myself, I was terrible everywhere else. And um, if I decided to pick out some bad names, I'd have lost fights where not necessarily due to my uh, uh, my talent level or not being better than that person, but I wasn't as experienced as that person. But now I feel like I am. Should you come through with the win at Bellator London, is it going to be a case of you're going to take again whoever they put in front of you? Or are you going to start chasing and saying that Paul Daly or someone like Paul Daly is the next fight that you want a massive name as the next fight? You know, it's, it's, well, I can't, I can't uh, necessarily demand that fight because I think they've been offered the, the belt holder if they win. So let's say he fight, go in there, put on a show, smash somebody in, in mad style and then just come out and look for somebody else to do it to. But you said you were frustrated and you didn't get the day fight. So is there a time and place where you're going to have to maybe take it into your own hands and maybe call out those opponents? Well, like I said, Paul Daly is personal. It has nothing else to do with anything else. It is personal. I want to smash him in his face hard. Yeah, I want to I want to talk to him while he's on the floor, I want to elbow him in his mouth. There's so much that's gone through my head that I want to see happen to him. So it's personal. Everybody else, I don't see that. So me trying to call someone out, again, it's fake. I mean, hey, come and fight. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I'm doing my thing. I'm on a crazy path. People, my name's just getting bigger and bigger as I do what I'm doing. And that's, that is with fighting unknown. So, you know, when I get to that top and I start wiping at everybody else, everyone's going to have to shut their mouth. You are both here at Belfast. Have you crossed paths? Sorry? You are both here in Belfast oh. now. Have you crossed paths and yeah, yeah, yeah. said? Yeah, we, we, no, we've crossed paths. As in, we've, you know, we've been in the same room and stuff. But that guy can't look me in my face right now. And like, next time you see him, tell him, look me in my, the guy can't look me in my eyes. Now, I don't know if that's because, you know, you feel guilty about what you did. And, you know, because I'm expressing it, you know, sometimes that pride in us is going to make us refuse to come over and actually just apologize man to man. But I don't care, man. I, I'm, I'm comfortable in my, own, in my own skin. So when I walk anywhere, I'm confident. So the fact that he can't even look at me in my face says a lot. Cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Take care, guys.